minimum sentence because we can't have dirty cops, people within these intelligence agencies, playing politics and lying to a court. I think Durham's building a larger conspiracy case here, and, and hopefully he's going to be able to get build enough evidence to bring all of these people to justice. So that, that is Devin Nunes, former congressman out of California, uh, with us last hour talking about John Durham linking Hillary Clinton aides to surveillance of the Trump campaign in 2016, then the White House after January of 2017. One of those aides facing trial right now is Michael Sussman now calling on the court to remove a section of the latest filing by Durham, mm -hmm. calling it prejudicial and false. Republican Mike Turner, ranking Republican House Intel Committee. Sir, good morning to you, and thank you for morning, your time. It's taken two parts here. First on the trial, should that, uh, does he have a point that that report should be kept away from uh, the case? What's interesting about this filing is this is basically special counsel Durham sending a memo to Michael Sussman saying he's not being well served by his lawyers. Uh, the pleading sets out allegations, evidence that they intend to admit uh, into court uh, that relate to third parties, people besides Michael Sussman himself, of which, though, he would be caught up. Uh, the pleading basically says you're not being well served by your lawyers. You should be cooperating. And your lawyers have the interests of others, third parties that don't affect you. Uh, we're going to be going after them also. And that's where we get these explosive allegations of the spying against the Trump administration, this Trump campaign, the number of, of criminal activities that are alleged. Uh, certainly, I think um, you know, Michael Sussman needs to read this again and uh, pay very close attention to what Durham is saying about his own counsel and certainly look to his best interest, which probably is to cooperate. Congressman Andy McCarthy of, over at National Review, his former prosecutor, has written that this could turn out to be the same as the Mueller investigation, where there, you see a, there's a lot of smoke, but there's no actual fire where you get people indicted and arrested. Um, and th the possibility exists that the real scandal here is in all the stuff that's legal, but goes right up to the line of, of being illegal. Do you see that as a possibility in the Durham investigation? Well, we'll have to see. We don't know what evidence that he has or what he's going to actually introduce into court. This pleading is about what he intends to introduce. But there are really four explosive allegations here, right? There's the, uh, the Clinton administration, this Clinton campaign spying on the Trump campaign. And there's the Clinton campaign perhaps continuing that spying into the Trump administration itself. And the other two are the, the attempts by the Clinton campaign and others to co-opt uh, government, the Department of Justice, the FBI. And then the fourth is those actions that actually happened, those things that we know where the FBI um, lied basically to the FISA court uh, and where there were investigations that were undertaken into Trump himself and the Trump campaign, all of which that were bogus and based upon opposition research from the Clinton campaign that proved false. Mm. What do you think the amount of attention this is getting? Well, I think it's appropriate. I mean, this is not only just scandalous. This should never happen again. And I d definitely agree with Devin Nunes. There's a number of areas where we need to, to change the laws, one of which is never allow a, the FBI to enter into a FISA court again, opposition research wow. that they've gotten from a political campaign. Yeah, but if you, I mean, if you weren't watching our network, where would you hear about this story? Again, what, and kind, that's of a, just what kind of outrageous. attention is it getting? Right, and that's, well, that's the other aspect, I think, that, that's really important. It shows that this really was part of the Clinton campaign, part of the Democratic Party campaign to smear uh, Donald Trump and certainly uh, you know, thwarted the first years of, of his presidency. And that's why, of course, they're not reporting on it, because they were complicit from the beginning. They were reporting things that were not true with no evidence, uh, certainly diminishing the ability of the Trump administration to do its work. Yeah, it's an amazing thing. You look back now and you wonder, why did you recuse yourself in Jeff Sessions, right? I mean, if, if that doesn't happen, maybe Mueller's never around. I mean, do, well, there's do you certainly think about a number that? of people who, who need to be held accountable in, in both the FBI and the Department of Justice who knew what they were doing and were complicit uh, in this hoax uh, and in thwarting the Trump administration as, they were, as the president uh, was being sworn in. Mike Turner, thank you, sir. We will bring you back you. and talk very yeah, soon. Thank, thank you. you for your time.